was all good just a year ago. What is going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk back at it with another video talking, of course, some NBA and talking about NBA free agency as we have our latest signing in one, Isaiah Thomas. Yes, IT finally finds his new team, but at a much more discounted rate than I'm sure he would have never, never expected him to be here, especially considering where he was just about a year ago. And he is signing with the Denver Nuggets for the minimum, the league minimum, folks. Yes, Isaiah Thomas, who when he was playing with the Celtics, like I said, just over a year ago or even maybe under a year ago, um, we thought that he was going to make upwards of 30 million dollars we thought he was going to make somewhere between 150 to 200 million dollars we were debating if he was worth the max contract and it was almost a surefire thing that he was going to get a max contract then you know basically the you know carpet gets pulled out from under his feet and he gets traded to the Cavaliers in that stunning stunning trade for Kyrie Irving and we all know recovering from that hip injury he was never the same and it took him a while to uh, even play with the Cavaliers. But once he played, he was cancerous to the locker room. He was just not getting along with guys. And they shipped him because they were fed up with him that quickly in Cleveland, okay? And they shipped him over to the Lakers, of course. And the Lakers, who are a young, rebuilding team, not anymore right now. But the last year at that time when he was traded, he did play well for them, provided a spark off the bench for the Lakers. But we knew with them targeting cap space and free agents in the summer of 2018, which is this summer, of course, and them looking at a, a guy like a LeBron James, who they did end up getting, we knew that their cap space was going to be, uh, you know, very important for them and they were not going to sign IT long term. So he found himself on the market. And basically now the market basically had dried up. There were barely any teams with cap space left. Actually, right now, there are not that many teams with cap space left. And so Isaiah Thomas is having to settle basically for the minimum on a one-year prove-it type of deal. Okay, so obviously I feel really bad for IT because like I said, man, he balled out for Boston. And it's a cold, hard business, the NBA is. This is why when people get on players sometimes for, you know, being mobile and and making their own decisions i don't really fault them a lot of times okay there there are instances we can clearly look at but for the most part i don't fault them because when it's time for these teams boy they just ship these guys out of town like no other and i'm not saying the celtics did made the wrong move by trading it i probably would have done the same but i'm just saying for a guy who basically you know goes all out plays the day after his sister passes away uh, leaves it all on the floor and was an incredible, incredible spark plug for that team. For them to just dismiss him and trade him like that um, was very surprising, okay? But like I said, maybe IT can look back on this and say it's all Kyrie Irving's fault. Because if Kyrie never wanted out of Cleveland, maybe IT never gets shipped out. So just food for thought there. I'm not sure if that's 100% accurate, but that's basically what ended up happening. So let's talk about his fit with his new team. So even though... The salary is very much left to be desired. He's going to be making just about $2.1 million. The same deal Derrick Rose got um, you know, when he signed with the Cavaliers, I believe, a year back. And so with IT, the salary, while that leaves a lot to be desired, I do like the team. Okay, And I think this is why maybe it took so long for IT because not only was it the fact that not that, that many teams are there without cap space, but IT probably wanted to be in a situation where he knew he was going to get an opportunity. So my best guess here is the fact is that IT looked around and any team can sign anybody for the minimum, okay? That is, you can go over the cap for that. There is nothing against that in the salary cap rulebook. So basically any team could have signed IT for the minimum. So once IT found out, okay, look, what I'm looking for in terms of dollar amount, I'm not going to get with these teams. So if I'm going to get the minimum, I want to make sure I go to the best possible fit for me so that I am not in this position again. I'm going on a one-year prove it type of deal, similar to DeMarcus Cousins in terms of the motive. Now, as far as the team he went to, I had, I had an issue with, but that's another story for another day. So he went to the Nuggets, and he looked at that situation, and folks, it does make sense because he's clearly going to be a six-man off the bench. 
But this is a team that's a good team that's projected to be a playoff team. They're going to be in the thick of the playoff race in the Western Conference. They've got a lot of talent. It's an exciting team. They play up-tempo. They have very talented players on their team. And IT could have gone to a, maybe a team like that's really bad, like an Atlanta Hawks team, and just jacked up shot after shot. But I think he really wanted to prove that he could be uh, essential to a winning team, okay? And that is what the Nuggets will give him the chance to do because you, you look at the Nuggets, he's not going to be their starting point guard. We all know that is Jamal Murray. They even shipped out Emmanuel Moutier, who's not even that old, to New York because they wanted to give Jamal Murray the starting job. But behind Jamal Murray, there's not a lot of depth. Isaiah Thomas can be the backup point guard. He, I believe, will be the backup point guard to Jamal Murray uh, because they have a lot of front court depth but not a lot of backcourt depth so if you look at the other guys on the front court I know they shipped out Wilson Chandler to the Sixers um, but you have of course Paul Millsap, Jokic, uh, guys like that um, they also just traded away Kenneth Reed but then you take a look at a guy like a Gary Harris, a Will Barton this team is very very talented but again backup point guard that's a clear need a six man off the bench that's a clear need so if you look at the projected starters you've got Jamal Murray, Gary Harris, Will Barton um, Paul Millsap and Jokic. I know they drafted Michael Porter Jr. Who knows if he'll be ready to start the year. But IT has a clear role and I believe a clear fit on this team. And I'm glad that he did pick the Nuggets because it will give him a chance to be able to showcase that he can you know, contribute to a winning team. I thought about the Magic as another team, but the Magic I don't believe are a playoff team. So um, that might have given the teams the notion again that it is just a you know a shot jacker who just takes bad shots and can't contribute to a winning team. So hopefully it balls out, man. Honestly, I like the fit a lot here. I know he had to settle for the minimum, but honestly, I think if he proves his worth and he proves and he balls out on this one year deal, I think there's a shot that he can get a decent deal. I don't think he's gonna get the max ever, but. I do think he can get a decent chunk of money. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below if you guys agree with me or disagree with me. Make sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.